Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with some more music reactions. <laughs> but welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And on this video, um, I'm actually going to take a look um, at some more music from Billy Strings. Now, this is a song that I've actually checked out already. Um, it's Dust in the Baggy, but I haven't seen this version of it. So my friend, um, she was the one that was like, hey, check my page. It's up there. You need to check. <laughs> you need to see this version of the song. Um, it's actually the one that a lot of people are more familiar with, I, I suppose, compared to the version I checked out. The, the version I have on the channel already is the one that's more polished. Like, it's him on the stage. He's got a band, all that stuff. You know, he's got a group of guys with him doing their thing. And it, it was a great performance. Um, but this look here looks like down home. You know what I'm saying? Like, my man's on the couch. He's got the guitar. He's got his buddy over here. You know, just looking at the, you know, the start of the video here, and it looks like it's about to be a, a good one. So, oh, before I get started on this thing, though, I was doing a little, just a little bit of homework on Billy Strings before I started this, and I did not know that he won a Grammy last year. And no clue. So I was reading up on him a little bit, pulled up the wiki page, and, like, there's all kinds of cool little details on there. So if there's more interesting stuff that I need to know about him, let me know. Like, I know a little bit about that guitar I don't know if it's, if it's that guitar in particular, the one that people keep, um, keep talking about. Um, that was in the um, uh, comments on my last video from him, talking about his grandfather, I guess, started making the guitar in prison, and like it ended up being passed down to him. And then I think he had somebody else finish it or or make it make it, you know just kind of finalize it or whatever. But obviously, it's like pretty famous on that level. So I thought that was pretty cool, pretty cool little uh, tidbit about him. So. At any rate, man, let me go ahead and just jump into this thing. <laughs> oh, before I do, though, of course, housekeeping stuff for the channel. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Help, help the little notification bell, whatever. Just lets you know when I have more music and content and stuff coming. And um, I was reading my comments, and I had a little discussion on my last video I uploaded. And uh, this makes this disclaimer even more uh, <laughs> important, in my opinion. Um, I do like to talk. I like to talk in, uh, you know post thoughts of the videos. I like to pause and so forth. And part of the reason to do that is honestly just so I can get my thoughts out real time and talk about it as well as like, uh, you know, just not just have the whole music play or whatever, because like, I'm assuming you guys are already familiar with the song if you're clicking on this video. Um, so if that's the case, cool. You already kind of know what's going on with the music. And if you don't know, that's cool. Like go ahead and click down in the description box below. There's a link down there for you. That way you can watch this video all the way through, you know, just unedited <laughs> you know without me talking all over it or pausing it or whatever but you know i had this i had a small discussion with somebody in the comments and not i'm not gonna throw the name out there it's out there if you want to if you guys want to read through it but long story short you know like yeah there might be a billion reactors out here doing you know all this stuff and that's fine like it's fine people you know like reaction videos some don't like i get it but if you're just not a fan like that, like, that's cool. But, like, coming at somebody just for doing what they like to do or having a good hobby or whatever, like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, man. Come up with a little something, you know. And, and then the funny thing is, and I'll get off of it, is that he countered with he's going to go do his hobby that he likes to do because I'm pretty sure he's not getting paid to, like, sell boats. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's a captain. Maybe it's Jack Sparrow in the comments. We'll see. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, man, I'm trying to be in a good mood, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on this song, man. Um, let me go ahead and hit start on this thing. This is Billy Strings, Dust in the Baggy. Let's get it. Okay. Mm. That's the train, man. Train roll. Play that, hey, play that Ioni tune you wrote. Not the one you played earlier. You know what that sounded like? Pause right here. That sounded like the beginning of um, American Woman, in a way. Just the intro part. And, and there's an acoustic intro of that song, if I remember right. I'm thinking right. That sounded familiar. Anyway, let's go. Play this one. Have you been playing on Simple Man? I played that once. It sounded fucking great to me. I had, had to do it for a competition. It was a... Oh, that's why I did that? Yeah. I wouldn't... I don't never play this. Play song. the latest one you wrote. Huh? That latest one you wrote. Mm. Um. Okay. I tweaked her friends have got me too. 
Man, it, my man's giving me the full stank face right here. Let's <laughs> have my face turned up. Man, this sounds really good. Just an acoustic. Here's the thing I love about um, acoustic performances, man, it, is this. If you have a really good player like Billy right here, man, it's going to bring you in. It's going to bring you into the performance and bring you into the song. And you, you pay more attention to it, mainly because there's not as much distractions going on. Like, you just have the singer and the guitar. It's easier to focus in. The message is clearer. You know, all that stuff. It just adds the enhancement. I can definitely see why people would love this. Plus, this just showcases his talent right here, man. His, he is ridiculous on that guitar. Like, for real. You know, the speed he's playing at, the pacing's good. You know what I'm saying? You can tell, you can hear the accents and the and the impact of the strings that he's hitting there. Like, dude's a problem, man. I can see why he, you know, he's he's got gotten to where he's at right now. So, all right, I'm gonna rewind just a little bit. I'm gonna jump back in it, but yeah, that was good. for a moment you got to have your hype boys on the side right <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got to have your people with you you know what i'm saying i'm sure these guys is probably still with them you know hopefully they are you know what i'm saying there's people out here in the video but if that's the homies bro you can't you can't ask for better friends than that right you know cheering you on and also kind of getting used to the crowd reactions just saying like if you're, if you're on stage and you're doing your thing and like you get spooked by the crowd like, you're not going to have a long time as a performer. Like, it's just not going to work out. <laughs> but, yo, so far, man, this song is this song is one of those. Again, I think I think I said this in the, um, the other video was it's a cautionary tale. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, he's really breaking down, you know, the, the risks involved with drugs. Like, it is what it is. Like, you can take some drugs and get caught doing it. And either A, like, it's, you know, a slap on the wrist. Or B, if you've done it multiple times, you can go back for a long time. Like, it is what it is. Now... I don't think that's right. Like, honestly, in my humble personal opinion, I think drugs honestly should be decriminalized. And, and the reason I say that is because it destigmatizes them. And it actually, in my opinion, makes it a clear path to treatment for people trying to get off of drugs. Because it's like the worst, th the best thing that's going to keep you from achieving anything or being a better person or anything like that, in my opinion, is, you know, the, the, the shame and the guilt of just admitting that you have a problem. You know, like it, it really is like take take that off the table. Like if you're trying to eat better, you know, what I'm saying you might be embarrassed to tell people that you eat trash. <laughs> you know, like I eat at McDonald's five times a day because it's convenient. I, li I live right across the street from McDonald's. You know, if it's that kind of scenario, you don't know. You don't want to go to a nutritionist and be like, hey, I eat McDonald's all the time, bro. Like, help, help me, even though that's what you need to do. But you might be feeling embarrassed and that even keeps you from getting, you know, Maybe some better health and, and, eat, and eating tips. <laughs> so anyway, like not to go too crazy off the bend here. Rewind just a little bit. But I, I think that, you know what I'm saying, in my opinion, stuff like that needs to change it, it, for me anyway. So, all right, let's go.
Oh, man. That boy's good, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Billy Strings for that one, man. Shout out to him, like, taking the time to write a song like that and write the lyrics to it, you know, and, and always, obviously having a full grasp of the subject matter, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, of the message he wants to convey and stuff like that. And honestly, as a, as a storyteller, as a songwriter, as a musician, like, you want to have stuff like this where it's a clear message, you know, it, it's easy to convey at times, you know, like, it, it just comes across very well. Like, not only that, but, like, just showcasing the talent that he has is wild to me. Like, this dude right here is just, his fingers is on fire, <laughs> you know? Now, I was reading up on him a little bit, and I was reading the comments as well, talking about he's he's a pretty well, in terms of music anyway, he listens to a lot of stuff. And I think they said, he's like, I don't know if he started off in rock or, or, or uh, metal. Or at least as a fan of the genre and stuff. And uh, honestly, I can tell. Because, like, I I've listened to a lot of different kind of music, you know, on the channel and in my personal life, of course. And um, you can definitely tell what people, like, have that kind of metal influence. Like, the way that they play or the aggressive way they play. But he's able to maybe take some of that technique and some of those, you know, you know, philosophies and, and kind of flip it over to bluegrass and, and, um, and country. You know what I'm saying? Doing it that way. You know, and honestly, I think it kind of almost works in reverse. Like, I think, honestly, bluegrass probably influenced metal, <laughs> which now has in turn kind of come back and, and influenced the other genres. So, you know, what I'm saying? like, it, it's kind of it's kind of cool, like just seeing how music is, is, is in a way, in a lot of ways, pretty fluid. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can hear influences from one genre of music and definitely hear them in another. So, like, I, I think that's a really cool, um, really cool kind of, of thing. You know what I'm saying? In terms of people being creative. So, all right, y'all. Hey, that was a great song again by Billy Strings. Let me know what else I need to check out from him. Like, I've only got, like, maybe a couple videos in my belt right now. Um, but I definitely want to check out more here in the future. So let me know which ones I need to be checking out. Like, live performances, if there's more recorded stuff like this. If you have music videos. Um, I didn't, I saw that he won a Grammy, but I don't know what song he won a Grammy for. Um, let me know what song that is. I mean, maybe that's the one I should check out next and see, you know, see what I've been missing out on. So, at any rate, hey, this is Marvin. Smitty reacts. I'm going to get out of this video. So please, until the next one, take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. Ooh, excuse me. And of course, if you guys could do that, I will catch you in the next video. All right? All right. Peace.